So now I have the opportunity to introduce someone tonight, and I'll just tell you how that happened. When you get a phone call from one of the Free Methodist USA bishops, and they ask you to introduce them, what do you say? You say yes. Well, actually for me, since I'm Southern, I say yes, sir. And so I did. And then I said, how would you like for me to introduce you? And he said, well, don't read my bio. That's in the book. I said, okay, is that it? He said, that's it, I trust you. I said, you trust me? Okay, all right, we'll see about that. So I do have the privilege of introducing someone very special to you, to us, and to me tonight. I want to start by showing how Bishop Thomas and I met. I have a photo of our first meeting. This was four years ago at General Conference. And I posted it on Instagram that some random guy jumped in my picture with Bishop Roller. (laughs) Of course, we know that to be Bishop Thomas. And I did know that was Bishop Thomas. The first time I met he and Marlene four years ago, there was something in my heart that leapt. These are my people. I love these people. They are not in proximity anywhere close to me, (laughs) but I knew they were my people. A year and a half later, I saw Bishop Thomas again at E3 in Tampa, Florida, and I went to his breakout session on reproduction, not biological reproduction, (laughs) multiplication. And I remember thinking, gosh, he speaks my language. As pastor of leadership development, I love all of that, all of that about multiplying leaders and churches and growing pastors and developing people. That's my language. And so I talked to him for a bit after that service. And then a year later, which was last year, he called me and he said, Who are, who's mentoring you? And I said, my pastor, Keith Cowart. And he's an incredible mentor, by the way. <laughs> yes. He said, you need to have somebody outside of Christ Community Church. And I said, you know what? I've been praying for a mentor. He said, why don't I mentor you? And I said, bishops do that kind of thing? They have time for that kind of thing? They make time for that kind of thing. When I look at developing leaders and identifying leaders, I really look for a few different things. The first one is that person spirit-filled and spirit-led. And you know what? There's no question that Bishop Matt Thomas is spirit-filled and spirit-led. Amen? The second qualification is can they reproduce leaders? And I want you to know that Matt Thomas is about reproducing leaders. You are probably sitting here tonight because he has invested in you. I'm telling your story about him too, honestly. I know that I am. I represent many of you. I remember him sending an email to me and he said, hey, by the way, um, I'm not sure what we're gonna talk about the next time we talk, but I wanted you to know I took the liberty, mainly out of curiosity, this is quoting him, to watch two of your sermons and give you some unsolicited feedback. (laughs) What? (laughs) My first response was, oh man, I wish I could have told you the two I wanted you to watch. (laughs) My second response was, He took an hour and a half, and yes, we preach long at Christ Community, to listen and give feedback on my sermons. That moved me. It made a difference in the kind of preacher that I am today. The final thing that I look for in a leader is can this person care for the souls of other people? Can they do soul care? 
And I want you to know that Bishop Thomas was not just interested in developing me as a leader or a preacher or a pastor. He was, in, he was interested in making sure that my soul was taken care of. He asked me about my marriage. He asked me about my son and my daughter. He asked me about my ministry. He asked me recently about my 10 interns this summer. He is interested in how I am weaving ministry and life together. What does that look like? Am I taking care of my soul? I have grown to love this man, as I know you have as well. And so it is with great joy that I introduce to you Pastor turned superintendent turned bishop, my friend and mentor, Bishop Matt Thomas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.